Dark Days Are Coming, Marvel Goes Prime, and DC's most unexpected team-ups ever. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Thanks for pressing play. You are watching a brand new episode of Talking Comics, Excalibur CCG TV. I am Chris. I am Mark. Every week, we come together to tell you about the great comics that are hitting the shelf. We are talking about March 29th, big week of some very unexpected things. Uh, not so big in other areas, but lots of stuff going on. Guys, if you want to find out what's going on with us and keep up to date with us, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And go to our website, ExcaliburCCG.com. They need to go do that and be following us and being up to date with us, Mark, because what's happening? Uh, we got a little thing coming up. Well, not so little. It's kind of grand and mega. Yes. And it's a big old sale. Yes. Uh, yes. Our <laughs> grand opening mega sale here in Shreveport for our new location that we are currently in. We are finally getting around to our grand opening. Uh, I'm not and not finally. It's taking a little bit to get there, but we are getting, we are there now. We're going to be having this April 6th through the 9th. At our Shreveport location, we are going to have the mega sale at both locations, so t so Shreveport and Texarkana, so you can go to both places and get all kinds of fantastic stuff. But yes, mark your calendars. Oh yeah, everything will be from ten to seventy five percent off by Sunday. The back issues will be seventy five percent off. Exactly, uh, except for variants. But. Yeah, so yeah. you can wait till they're like a massive discount, but what you want might not be there. So. It's up to you. That's a, that's a chance you take. That is. That's a chance you take when I'm getting it early. Getting it quick and early. Uh, also, guys, Mark, what, do we, what else do we have coming into the shop uh, that you want to tell people about? We have a ton of pop vinyls coming in. Um, some of them reload. Some of them things we've never had before. But uh, we've got a lot coming in the next week or so. Nice. Um, we should have them all here by the sale. But I'm pretty sure they're coming in next week. Sweet. Sweet. So if you if you haven't been here already to see our huge, we've got a selection. massive selection right now. Yes, but it's about to get even massiver. It is going to get massive. It's going to be the really massive. <laughs> massive is not a word. Don't say it. Don't, don't say it. <laughs> so guys, all of you guys, Mega Sale, New Funko Pops, uh, Pop Vinyls. Don't miss out on that. And guys, if you haven't been to our new location, you've got to come see it. It like echoes in here. It's so huge. It is huge. It's great. It's awesome. It's so big and open. We're it's just exciting. I get. T I mean, I, you know, I get tired running after people handing them their pull list. Because like, it's like I got to hike. I got to bring a sleeping bag. <laughs> exactly, man. <laughs> Catch up with them. <laughs> guys. Let's dive into some new number ones that are dropping this week. Some uh, some new things. Uh, it's the fifth week for DC, so we don't have any like new number ones or ongoings, but we do have some annuals that we're going to talk about here. But guys, let's start off with Marvel and dive into what they have starring this week. Mark, what's up for you, bro? Uh, the first thing we got is Inhumans Prime, number one, from Al Ewing and Ryan Sook. Uh, Resurrection begins here yes. in the wake of the awesome events of IVX, Inhumans versus X-Men, if you didn't know what that was. What will become of the Inhumans? Right. Um, can Marvel make anyone care? No. <laughs> in this oversized special issue, The Trial of Maximus. The coming of Marvel Boy, and what is the dark secret of Black Bolt? And he can't tell anybody, because he'd kill him if he did. Exactly. So, uh, this is a special bridging issue between the past of the Inhumans and their future, on Earth and in the stars, because the Royals are going out to space and all that. Exactly. So, yeah, this is going to set up the new status quo of the Inhumans after the war. So, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see let's be coming. honest here. The Inhumans are a, a product of Cree genetic mutation experimentation it makes sense for them to me for them to go to the stars sure for them to be uh, maybe a cosmic uh squad or cosmic whatever right you know i mean their new adeline used to be on the moon so right yeah that's, that's what yeah that's the way it was for forever for, for a, a long long time, long time. Yeah. so uh, we'll, we'll see what they do here without ewing ryan sook there the, the, art, the art should be fantastic excellent ewing uh ewing does a pretty good job uh he's a kind of hit or miss for me but he does a pretty good job so we'll be checking that out also along with that we have x-men prime number one mark guggenheim ken lashley on board here for this resurrection beginning here with x-men prime in the wake of their war with the inhumans they're at a crossroads where do they go from here one person has a plan, and that is Kitty Pride. She is going to take up the mantle and return as the leader of the X-Men, bringing Charles Xavier's dream 
back full circle. So guys, here we go. They're gonna be. They're going on to their mission again. They're going back to their mission to protect a world that right. hates and fears them. And it starts with this issue right here. This is what leads into X Men Blue and X Men Gold and all the new titles. So. Exactly, exactly. In our in our in our uh, corner art box. Right. Yes, right. Yes. 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 So guys. Marvel's going prime. We got these prime issues that are dropping this week, leading into Royals, X Men Gold, X Men Blue. It's going to be great. Check it out. See what they're doing now. See see if Marvel is going to get this right. <laughs> Enjoy that. What's this up for is, you, Mark? This is supposed to be the beginning of their like going old school. Yeah, exactly. Stuff, We've so, talked about it. Yeah, this is yeah. like it's, uh, yes. Let's see. Can, yes, 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 they, yes, yes. It just, 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 <laughs> can they get this? Can they? I, I, I'm glad they're doing that. I just want to know if they can. I know it's subjective, but can they do it I, I right? hope they pull it off. I, I mean, I want to see every book in here sell 100 issues of, I mean, everything. So yeah. I, hope, I mean, I hope they pull it off. When Marvel does well, it seems to make everybody do well. So Exactly, exactly. I, I, I want to see them do it. Yeah, yeah. What's that for you, bro? What's next? Uh, this is from DC. Ah. Uh, Adam Strange and Future Quest Annual Number 1. Um, Mark Andreco and Steve Lieber. Uh, after the death of Hawkman, Adam Strange is blasted through multiple dimensions, only to land on Earth and of all the places, like in the whole universe. Oh, he gets on Earth. It's okay. <laughs> there, instead of superpowered beings and legendary crime fighters, he encounters a boy adventurer and his scientist father. I'm assuming that's Johnny Quest. I think it might be. Yeah. I think it might be. And they're the only ones who can help him return home. Uh, in, and in the backup, there is a backup with Top Cat, which, yep. I mean, I watched that when I was a kid. I love Top Cat because he's very, he's a swindler and he was a very cool character. Very cool cat. Very cool cat. Very I cool like that. Cat. I like that. And uh, he is actually in Gotham and he bumps into Batman. And uh, we'll see how uh, Batman handles Top Cat. That's cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's got to be a Catwoman thing in there somewhere. So. Oh. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, uh, even more of these unexpected uh, team-ups here. We got Booster Gold and the Flintstones annual. Number one, we got Mark Russell and a name I haven't seen in a while, Rick Leonardi. Rick Leonardi. How about that, right? I loved his stuff on uh, Spider-Man 2099. and um, He had a huge X-Men run. He had a huge X-Men run, yeah. Yeah, I, man. I haven't I, seen him in forever. It's been a long time. So, guys, here we go. In the 25th century, reptilian aliens are invading and taking over the world. It's up to Booster Gold to go back in time, encounter the Flintstones, but also find out what happened the first time these same reptilian aliens came to the world and how they got rid of them and take that information back to the 25th century. Bam Bam probably took them out back then. Dude, that would... Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so on board for that. Also, in the backup feature here, we got... A new twist on an old twist about our future. The Jetsons live in a world of robotics and gadgetry, but how does dying change when Grandma's brain can be digitally imprinted imprinted onto a house cleaning robot? So Rosie is like Grandma. I think so. Oh wow! Okay, I think that's where they're going. Okay, so there we go, guys. Have fun. And I love this Rorge. cover. Uh, the cover that you saw on the screen a moment ago. It's a Michael Oliver cover. Yeah, uh, Booster Gold and Fred Flintstone. That's, that's a good. great cover. It's a great cover. It really is. Just fun looking. So there we go, guys. What's up for you, bro? Um, we got uh, Green Lantern Space Ghost, yeah. which actually makes a lot of sense. It does. It's then. not really as wacky as some of the other ones. And, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm. Go ahead. I'm excited. James Tenyon the fourth and Howard Chaykin. Oh, yeah. Howard Chaykin. So, Green Lantern's going to look like the same black-haired dude that Howard Chaykin's been drawing forever. <laughs> Which I found out, Yes. on a side note, um, he does a variant for a Reggie and Me, number three, I think. Okay. And Reggie looks like that same black-haired dude. So, it's Reggie's adventures all through time is who this guy is that Howard Chaykin's been drawing. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trapped in a strange rift in time, Green Lantern and Space Ghost are forced to battle a variety of foes. Yes. And each other. And each other. And each other. Stripped of their weapons, the duo will have to battle to regain them. Fight Club in space. Exactly. But what happens when Space Ghost dons the Emerald Ring and Hal Jordan puts on the power bands? Yes, I like that switch. Interesting, especially if it was the Space Ghost from Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Oh. That would be awesome, but it's a, it's the old cartoon. Space oh, okay. Ghost. But that would be hilarious. <laughs> and in a backup feature, Rough and Ready were once the toast of nightclubs, variety shows, late night chat fests, and Broadway. Learn how they became the comedic duo of yesterday before they hit rock bottom today. 
I'm not sure who Rough and Ready are. I need me neither. I mean, I remember the names. I remember the names, but I don't. I I can't picture. What was the difference between the original Space Ghost and the West Coast? Well, the Space Ghost Coast to Coast was like a comedic take on Uh, Space Ghost. They used that character, but he was like a comedic talk show host kind of guy. Okay, it was a a great show. Okay, I I missed that show actually. That's cool. I, I mean, I, and honestly, I like I like that idea of where the, the change the ring in the space bands. Yeah. And see what happens from yeah. there. So there we go, guys. Uh, last up for the ones that are the, the, these annuals, these unexpected team up annuals that are dropping this week, we have Suicide Squad and Banana Splits annual number one. We got Anthony Bernard. Hadn't seen him around in a while. That's true. Uh, ben Caldwell on the artwork as well. Uh, this is Suicide Splits. Uh, mistaken for metahumans, they're thrown in the bowels of Bell Reeve. The Animal Rock Band, Banana Splits, are recruited by Waller for a secret mission to save the Suicide Squad. So we have Flegel, Bingo, Drooper, and Snorky standing up to Harley, Deadshot, Katana, and Croc. And in the backup story, we have Snagglepuss, who is a southern gothic playwright working with an ensemble cast of cultural figures exploring an intensely creative time in the New York City theater scene of the 1950s. (laughs) And there's already been controversy about our snaggle push showing up here. Oh yeah, uh, but I don't get. I kind of am confused by the description. So are the Venice splits going to save or fight against the Suicide Squad here with this description? Well, I'm sure they'll save them and then fight them, and <laughs> you know, once they get all that sorted out, you yeah, know, all everybody's going to return to Bell Reef. I so just, I kind of wish it was Wally Gator versus Killer Croc. That would have been more awesome. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, it would have been. That would have. It's like. Some of these ideas are clicking, and then some of them are like, that's a good idea that they're not doing, apparently. So, there we go, guys. Have fun with that. That's that's the that's the last of this week. Uh, there, there are some more supposed to be coming. Yeah, uh, there's, there's more coming. Yeah, uh, there's a, I know there's a Batman one, and there's the there's Jonah Hex Jonah one. Hex, there's Martian Manhunter. Exactly. There's several um, more to come. Uh, I think the following, or next week, is when some of those will be coming. But, guys, that's the that's the first wave of them for you of these unexpected team-ups from DC. They should be a lot of fun. Exactly. I, I, be, I'll probably get all of them, because it's... It's the fifth week. I'm not getting a whole lot else, so I'll probably just load up on those. Exactly. That'd be really cool. What's last up for us? Uh, from Dynamite, it's Doc Savage, Ring of Fire number one, new miniseries uh, from David Avalone and Dave Acosta. Uh, return to the 1930s for a thrilling four-issue miniseries. 1938, Amelia Earhart is missing. Volcanoes are going off under U.S. Navy bases. Silver Death's Heads are trying to kill Doc Savage, and FDR is quite concerned about all of this, Hmm. as he should be. Yes. Um, Amelia Earhart, there used to be, I don't know if they're still in business. I can't imagine that they are, but there was a a luggage business called Amelia Earhart Luggage. Now, I can't imagine why you would name luggage after Amelia Earhart, who got lost (laughs) as many times as airports lose your luggage. That is just really bizarre to me, but <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. That is amazing. I did not know that. They at used all. to give them away on like Wheel of Fortune and stuff like that. Oh, right. Really? Amelia Earhart <laughs> luggage. That is great. I did not know that. Guys, those are our number ones for this week that we're covering. There we go, guys. Like it's not just it's not a huge week of like ongoings and stuff, but we do have these fun annuals. Yeah. Doc Savage is, is a fan favorite. And I've been really confused. DC had them, and now Dynamite's got them. And Dark Horse used to have them. It's just yeah. one of those properties that kind of goes. And uh, the Dynamite stuff, I I haven't read. I think they've done too many series so far. Yeah. And I haven't read them, but I've kind of you know we had the trade of one of them. And I thumbed through and it looked pretty good. Yeah. I, mean, I like the character. Yeah. I like the old pulp stuff. So. Yeah, exactly. Good stuff right there. Yeah. Guys, this week for storylines, guess what? There there aren't any. Not really. There's we're no, we're yeah. gonna lull until the. The big summer events. Yes, so. and then they're, they're going to be dropping be here multiple you know sites simultaneously. Yes. So, yeah, there we go. But, guys, we're going to move on to some news topics that we're, we're going to recover, stuff that we've uh, – continuing some of the stuff that we've already talked about before and some new stuff that's come to light here recently as well. But let's start off with Marvel's Generations Explained. Uh, Newsarama has uh, an article up talking about this 10-way crossover during, during the Marvel Secret Empire where the heroes return. It's going to kick off in July and run through September uh, during the same time as the Secret Empire event is happening. It's going to be overarching with that. Right. And they say it's not time travel. Right. They say it's not alternate universe. They've got some kind of way where they're bringing in 
like classic Thor, classic Captain America, alongside, you know, I guess the Steve Rogers that's Hydra now and all that. I, I'm, I'm not sure how it's all going to happen, but yeah. um, the the team ups sound pretty fun. Yeah, they do. Um, they do. And speaking of them, we have Iron Man with Tony Stark and Riri Williams. Yeah. And we know who the writers are going to be of these as well. We got Brian Michael Bendis writing this one. Uh, Spider Man. He's going. Uh, it's going to be Peter Parker and Miles Morales, who have already connected before. Exactly. So that, that's a repeat. But and and Bendis is doing that again. Uh, Ms. Marvel. We have Carol Danvers and Kamala Khan. G. Willow Wilson is going to be uh, uh, writing that story. Thor with Odinson and Jane Foster. Written by Jason Aaron. Now, on the cover of that, it's like classic costume Thor. It is. So, That's I don't really know cool. if it's going to be like Odin's son or like some kind of... Well, like I, like I said, they said it's not time travel, so I don't know how they're going to pull this off. Yeah. So, uh, looking forward to that. We have Hawkeye, and that's going to be Clint Barton and Kate Bishop. We have Kelly Thompson writing that story. Hulk with Bruce Banner and Amadeus Cho. Greg Pak is writing that story. We got Jean Grey, younger and the older Jean Grey. And we got Dennis Hopeless writing that story. We have Wolverine, which is going to be Logan and X-23. Yeah. Supposedly like not. Wolverine Logan, not Old Man Logan. Not exactly. And we got Tom Taylor writing yep. that story. <clears throat> and then we have Captain Marvel, which is Marvell and Carol Danvers. Uh, we got that written by a story, uh, that story written by Margie Stoll. And then Captain America, which is going to be Steve Rogers and Sam Wilson, written by Nick Spencer. Now, this is supposed to be yeah. allegedly what they've been building towards the Marvel Universe with and and whether or not any of these old characters stick around or not, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I hope they do yes. because I don't want to just get teased and then get the rug yanked out from under me, you know, because yes. I would love to see Thor back in the old, the classic Thor back in the old costume and all that. That would be awesome. Yeah. And just all these heroes acting like heroes would be awesome. Thank you, sir. Exactly. So, you know, Exactly. Instead of fighting each other, I mean, I don't know. I know. That, That's that, a whole other soapbox. <laughs> That's a big, tall soapbox. So we don't know who artists are going to be or no. where these stories are going to be exactly during all this. But they're supposed to fit into Secret Empire. It's all supposed to fit together. Yeah, so guys, this is coming. This is starting. This is kicking off in July. So this is going to be happening. So guys, for all of you that have been looking forward to some of these kind of legacy changes that we've talked about the past several weeks with what Marvel's been releasing, well, we have a start yes. date. We know who's going to be doing. We know who's going to be doing what uh, for the, for a good a good part. Uh, but where that's going to lead to and what the ultimate end is going to be, we won't know till the end of all the end of Secret Empire, end of generations. Yeah, we'll have to wait for all the solicits. Exactly. I, I, I wish I see. Could, I want to see. see a, uh, I would love to see. I would love to see a Hulk. Uh, uh, Art Adams drawn story that would be awesome. I would Greg love and Art Adams. I mean, if it's just if, if they're going to be some sh- just stories that are just backups or something, six to eight pages, please. I want to see some yeah. interior work by Art Adams. That would be awesome. That. But we'll see, guys. <laughs> Moving on, guys. Some some of your favorite comics might have been canceled. Yeah, they they or placed on hiatus. Yeah, we do. We knew. We do know that this week's issue of Ghost Rider number five—that's the last issue. The it's number not, the number six that was solicited will not be happening. And we do know that Thunderbolts, uh, according to Jim Zub, the writer, is on hiatus. Probably until after Secret Empire, I'm guessing. Exactly. Along with some other cancellations that we have seen already, uh, Patsy Walker, aka Hellcat. I know some of you that, you know, yes, but she that's canceled. And then we have some missing titles from Marvel's May solicitations, like Black Panther, World of Wakanda, Silver Surfer, Silk, Great Lakes Avengers, Thunderbolts, as mentioned before, Gamora, and Deadpool, the Mercs for Money. They were all absent from yeah. the May solicitations. So well, World of Wakanda, I mean, they're doing they're doing the crew. Right. So I, I can't, I mean, I, they're, they weren't going to have three Black Panther titles. Not, not right gonna, now. No, they're just not going to do that. Maybe they'll have a special or something. When the movie comes out, exactly. but so the crew, I imagine, has taken the place of World of Wakanda, um, Great Lakes Avengers. I don't think anybody thought that was gonna. They should have just done a mini series for that. They should have, and I hate that because I love Will Robson's art on yeah. the series. I mean, it's a fun, it's a fun little book, but it's just, I mean, that's just something that's not gonna stay around forever. Exactly, um, I agree. Small doses give us a mini series once in a while, and I think it would be a lot more successful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, you can make it. You can make them their own thing, right? With the with the miniseries, you know, had their own their own Arklatex 
<laughs> battle or so you know like where they are where the great lakes right. are right. you know have them like the, 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 whatever the way the, 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 you could do stuff with that you know make it a saga just for the the, right. the great lakes area uh instead of comedy or whatever they're trying to pull off but other ones like you, you talked about silk that yeah. one's kind of lasted a while that one has lasted a while and um i'm not surprised it's going away um I'm, i hate to see any comic get canceled yeah um but it's not a surprise right exactly and another one that keeps getting brought back and maybe is maybe it's a candidate as well for mini series is silver surfer right it always comes back as a short run i mean the longest probably lasted was back in when they're 80 late 80s, 80s early 90s, 90s yeah it was a long run yeah uh but ever since then even with the creative team of dan slides and mike allred Right, with the current incarnation, it's it's in the teens, and now it's getting canceled. Yeah, um, the Gamora one, they just launched that series. It's on like number four. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. But they're doing weird stuff with the Guardians titles because Rocket Raccoon just relaunched, and then they're canceling that and relaunching it as just Rocket. And then they've got a Guardians of the Galaxy miniseries coming out with like all five issues in one month. Right. And then they're doing the new Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, so yeah, that Mother Entropy series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're doing weird stuff with with the Guardians titles. It's yeah. very odd what they're doing. I, it's like it's almost like they don't know what they're doing. I don't know. It's it's strange, but I I, I guess they have a grand plan. Uh, hopefully so. But I guys, so. this is an important. This is an important. Uh, for all of you true comic book fans that are out there, this is why pre-ordering is so important. Yes. And having a pool list and keeping it updated yes. uh, with what you want and what you don't want, obviously, but what you want, especially if any of this, if any of these titles that we've mentioned that are on hiatus or have been canceled were one of your favorite titles, that pre-ordering helps keep them on the shelf. And we, we let you know on the website what's coming out, what's going to be out. You can you can send us an email from the website and start a poll list. Exactly. Um, it doesn't even, it can be one book. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Just, you know, if, if you, if you're looking at it and you think, well, you know, I'm only, I only want one of these things, but I, I guess it's probably not, they probably won't let, let me do just one, but no, we will. It's one book. It's fine. It just, um, I mean, some of these titles, might stick around if you know yeah yeah i can i can name i could name several series that i wish would have continued but that you know due to low sales or whatever and even with me doing what i could you know it still got canceled but guys even if you're not local to texarkana or shreveport we can still do a pull list for you we still we will deliver for you yeah we'll, uh, we'll mail it out exactly we, we, we do that with several customers we, exactly so guys uh keep that in mind pre-ordering is your friend it is one of the best it is the best way to ensure that your titles that you're interested in Stay on the shelf. Right. It's the best way for that to happen. And it's also because, I mean, we sell out of stuff sometimes. So if you just wander in the store yeah, uh, looking for something, it might not be there because it might have sold out. So if you start a pull list, then you're guaranteed a copy. Exactly. Exactly. Unless Diamond screws up our order well, for that week. That's that's but, a, that's actually another. That's a whole other. <laughs> yeah. uh, guys, last bit of news info we're talking about this week. Uh, DC has announced that dark days are coming. And we have that, we have to thank, we have Scott Snyder and several other creators to thank for that. Uh, there's this series of Dark Days of One-Shots that's going to be coming, uh, two, two One-Shots, exactly, coming for in June, June and July. And these are going to be featuring uh, creative teams like Scott Snyder, James T. IV, and they're going to be teaming up with artists like Jim Lee, Andy Kubert, and John Romita Jr. And uh, isn't it Capullo as well? Uh, he may tag in there somewhere. Okay. Uh, and we have two one shots and June on June fourteenth we have Dark Days the Forge, and on July twelfth we have Dark Days the Casting, and this is stemming from events that are currently going on, uh, in in the, it's DC some, Comics. Yeah, and and it's it's supposed to be. I think Snyder said it was stuff that was set up during him and Capullo's run. So we've got those trades. Yeah, and I'm interested um, if to want to catch up or, or try and figure out your own clues or whatever. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, come, it, come get the trades. And, if you don't have the trades of Capullo's artwork for well, all that stuff, yeah, the and, whole run. And there were some really good stories in there too. There the really Court were. of Owls was really awesome. Still and, love that. Yeah, uh, Year Zero, and there's there were some good stories in there. Uh, you really know, uh, hate it or love it, I think I think one of the best one of the best things to come from that was the Court of Owls. I, it, the I, whole original aspect of that to me yeah i was like well okay. that was a that was a great 
instant classic addition to the Batman mythos. Yes, exactly. You said it. I couldn't say it any better. Um, Uh, Guys, this is going to be, this Dark Days is going to be leading into the dark underbelly of the DC Universe. Uh, It's going to be leading into another unspecified DCU event. Some are speculating that it's the big uh, metal uh, thing that's going to be happening again with Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo teaming up again. A big Batman-centric, heavy uh, DC Universe Mega crossover. Right. It's uh, not going to be the button. That's going to be a separate thing. Exactly. Um, it's not going to be. I know that they're going to lead into, they're leading into another storyline, uh, the War of Jokes and Riddles, uh, mm-hmm. which is a Riddler Joker war that takes place uh, when the Riddler's still, I think, in power, like around the year zero thing, zero okay. year. Um, and it's supposedly Batman did something really horrific in that time. And he's actually narrating the story. So we'll find out what all that's about. But I mean, how can you not? Like the Riddler versus the Joker. That's that's I like that. It's idea. comedy gold. <laughs> yes, yes. And the streets will run red at the same time. And they, yes, it will. And uh, it'll but, be funny. But dude, uh, Jim Lee, Andy Kubert, John Romita Jr. on so, board for this. Yes, all star uh, artist cast. Yes, totally looking forward to this, guys. Dark days are coming. Get start. It gets started in June. Have fun with that, guys. We'll give you more details as we get them. Sure. Between now and then, guys, we're wrapping it up now with our question of the week. You would have to have been under a rock off planet in another dimension somewhere to have not seen the new Justice League trailer that just dropped this past weekend. And our question is simply this. What are your thoughts on the first Justice League trailer? First big trailer. Not a teaser. The first full, full trailer. Exactly. The first full trailer. What are your thoughts on that? Mark, hit me with your best shot, bro. What are you thinking about that? Batman looks great. Yeah. He's got some really good lines. Um, Aquaman looks incredible. I think he's going to be the best part of the movie. Wonder Woman's big scene in the trailer was like slow motion twirling hair. Um, yeah. I'm not a fan. I, I, I can't get into Cyborg. It's just not a character I get into. Right. Um, and the flashes. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I think Ezra Miller's a good choice, and hopefully we'll get a lot more it's, out of him. It's a different take, I guess, on yeah. The Flash. Um, I think it would have been a better Wally West uh, than Barry Allen okay. Flash. Um, I always picture Barry as maybe a little bit older than that. Right, right. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. But it just looks like another dark and muddy Zack Snyder movie <laughs> to me. And. <laughs> it's like nothing happens in daylight. Nothing happens exactly. when it's light. It's, it's all dark. Even when it is light, it's cloudy. And it, it's like, I don't know. I just, I, I I like that mood, but every dang movie yeah, I, it, is like that. Yes. And it's just, come on. And he's, he's not the best at, at character development to me. Yeah. But that's, I mean... Uh, I reserve judgment until it comes out and all that, and right. I see it. But it, and there are elements of it that have me excited. But overall, eh, I'll see. Yeah, yeah. So I, look, the trailer looks amazing. It does. It's it, it looks amazing. It really does. And it, it, Mark does have a valid point with it being is it's, it's apparently they're all the, Snyder just lives in darkness, so you get a lot of that. But. Some awesome, just just off the top of my head from remembering watch, you know, watching it earlier, uh, we uh, some great shots. There's like the scene where Cyborg's dad is looking at the mother box, yeah. jumbling in the corner, and behind him you see that parademon and the eyes glow. That looks oh, yeah. really cool. Yeah, there's some. Uh, you got uh, you got uh, Flash gets in the Batmobile with Bruce Wayne. He goes, what, "What's your superpower? <laughs> I'm rich." <laughs> it looks great. Uh, two. Uh, Two scenes with Aquaman that looked fantastic. Yeah. One of them taking that trident and just lugging it and catching two or three parademons yeah. right through the center. Yeah, that Aquaman's was that looks sweet. Cool. That's ne- that never would ever happen in real life, but just looks awesome on screen. <laughs> and then when and then whenever he's, he's on the hood he's on of the, the Batmobile, Batmobile yeah. he's like, yeah. <laughs> and then the awesome leap into yeah. battle with those with those uh, parademons. That looked that looked fantastic. Oh, just like a bat. I can kind of like yeah exactly right and then and then you got Commissioner Gordon saying it's nice to see you playing with others again or something and Batman's like it won't be long (laughs) (laughs) after Aquaman makes his a quip or something he likes something but uh, it look yes it looks great it looks fantastic and and that made it seem those just those parts I mentioned made it seem fun at least there's at least there's humor in this one and And, 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 hey 
Did you did you notice the one scene in like that shaft where it's uh, Batman's in a suit and he says something like, "Now it's my turn." Yeah, and it looks like is it a suit of armor? Is yeah, it, is it a robot he's inside of? It looks like a big robot kind and, of. Yeah, thing. and he's like climbing up or whatever. Yeah. Oh, what the world? Yeah, that if that's what it is, I'm a, I'm a, only assuming at this point that that look that just that was awesome to me. Yeah. A Wonder Woman I, in this trailer there wasn't wasn't there wasn't a whole lot. I mean, come on, you know people. We'll we'll see. Obviously, obviously uh, there will be more, but there, yeah, they didn't show much. Maybe in the next trailer. I mean, they can't focus on everybody. This one was kind of it, it kind of starred Batman and Aquaman more yeah. than anything. And the next trailer may be you know Wonder Woman and the Flash or something. You right, know, more. So uh, there was a great shot too of uh, Mira. Aquaman's, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. That, 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 looked, that looked fantastic. It looked awesome. The underwater uh, stuff I've seen, just the little snippets here and there of the footage they've done, looks great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, like we said, it, it's it looks fantastic. Yeah, it's, it, it's the it does. story it's and the dark. writing that's it, it is dark. <laughs> but like, at least there is humor in this one, and I, I'm kind of wondering if that was a little bit of a Jeff Johns influence on Zack Snyder. I think so. I think we, making we it a little about, bit lighter than the other movies and all that. We know about reshoots that they had to do, they had to do. Right. So, yeah, yeah. You know. So guys, tell us tell us what you think about the trailer. Tell us if you have some nice moments in there that you really like. Tell us what you thought of it. What you think of those? Which ones were your favorite shots or, or scenes? Real, spliced in there real quick, uh, because it, it's it it does undoubtedly look amazing. But it really does. November. We had to wait till November before we actually see what it's all about, how it's going to be. And I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I'm excited for this first full trailer. We'll have another one or two, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure they'll do, uh, they usually do, what, three or so before the exactly. movie hits. So. And, then, and then an international one, sir. Right. And, and then, then an international gives away one. all the spoilers. The international <laughs> one always gives away all yeah, the spoilers. Yeah, in another language, if you can right. figure it out. <laughs> That is just so strange. That's awesome. So, guys, hey, have fun with that. Tell us in the comments below what you think of the Justice League trailer. And, guys, it, Justice League, it's a great time to read some Justice League stuff right now. Yeah. And Batman stuff and Superman stuff. And Aquaman. And Aquaman. I mean, d dive into that stuff right now. We have trades available here in the store, as well as the back issues that you can get for stuff as well. Don't miss our Mega Sale, where all this stuff is going to be available and discounted for you that you can get and have fun with and enjoy. Sit down and just have a great read. Yeah, I mean, if you're a Superman fan, just because the Reborn story is over, there's more stuff coming. Yes. That was just kind of setting the status quo. There's more mysteries. There's more stuff coming with Superman. So if you're a Superman fan at all, yes. I mean, come on in, jump on board by, by all means. Get on board, baby. Yeah. So, guys, that's it for this week. That's the new number ones. No storylines, obviously. The new stuff. Uh, we wanted to talk with you about and tell us in the comments below what you think about the Justice League trailer. Anything else to add, sir? Good. You're good? Yep. I'm good, too. That's it for this week, guys. Thanks for being a part of the community. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Join our community here on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter as well. And be sure to check out our website, ExcaliburCCG.com. Don't miss our mega sale. It is coming, and we have new pop vinyls coming in. So wherever you are, local or not, Pick up the phone, give us a call. We can help you find what you're looking for as well. So, guys, that's it for this week. So, until next time, read some great comics, leave us some fantastic comments down below, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.